Hey guys, welcome back to Trevette Knots. I'm John. You know what? The other day, Mac McKenzie, Facebook friend and member of Ropeworks Group and International Guild of Knot Tires, changed his profile picture on Facebook to this. And as soon as I saw it, I said to myself, wow, that would look awesome as a feature on a frame. Well, I've made a few mats over the past few months and thought to myself, hmm, if I make a template, can't be that hard, even though it does look kind of complex. So I decided that I was going to make one. So I went to the bookshelf and grabbed the Grammont and Hensel's Encyclopedia of Knots and Fancy Rope Work. And then I sat down immediately and drew out a template of overs and unders where the arrow indicates over. So bright and early the next morning, I began the task of tying this for the first time. And it was a little tedious. And I fumbled with it and fumbled through it quite a bit. But uh, it seemed doable. And I finished the first one and was pretty excited until I discovered a mistake. So I started over and I made a second one. And I made a mistake on that about halfway through, started over again, and went on to make a third one. And I just about finished that one and found another mistake. It's wrong. So I took a deep breath and brushed my teeth, and then started on a fourth one, and I finished that on the first pass and began doubling it, and discovered not one, but two mistakes. Then I thought, for sure, on this fifth go around, I will definitely get it right. The fifth one's the charm. Not on the fifth try. <laughs> so after going for a nice drive and clearing my head, I began in earnest for the sixth time. Wait a minute. You've got to be kidding me. Fortunately, I was able to get over that final mistake pretty easily. Really wasn't a problem. So there it is, folks, a finished centerpiece mat. Not that hard for some people. Hats off to those people. Thanks for watching. See you soon.